I see you have most of your cursed energy back. Mahito, you should know you're awfully worn out yourself. Oh, you can tell? Turns out Sukuna and his vessel are my natural enemies. It was great at first, but then it didn't work out. I should have taken a hostage, and then I could have forced him into a pact, am I right? You failed because pacts are only ever placed by oneself on oneself. It's not easy to forge pacts with others because of outside intervention. Jogo, touching Sukuna made me realize that we should probably proceed with Gato's plan for now. Sukuna is that valuable. You mean gather all the fingers and offer them to Sukuna, huh? Even if that means we all get wiped out in the process? Very well, then. I sure don't intend to be the one left laughing like a lunatic in the wasteland a century from now. As long as curses exist as people, that's all that matters. Oh, you understand exactly. But before that, how about some warm-up exercises? You must be feeling out of shape, right, Jogo? Very well, then. But I'm already in perfect shape. I'm going to win. This'll be a little more than a formality. You should get to work, too. <laughs> I'm glad you're both feeling lively. Looks like you'll be up to putting the plan into operation. Good. But first we need to go retrieve the six fingers from Jujutsu High. Do we have to? I thought the sorcerers were only keeping Yuji Itadori around so that he can swallow Sukuna's fingers. If we leave him alone, he'll still eat them. The higher-ups at Jujutsu High are still trying to calculate Yuji Itadori's strength as a vessel. They want to see just how many fingers he can take. They want to gather all the fingers and then have him consume them, with just one exception. So, into the tiger's den we go, huh? 
Then just how do you think we ought to proceed? Already started. My first move was allowing Jujutsu High to retrieve the fingers we had. 